Hello everybody, this is Pustak Barma and today I am gonna deal with an interesting story from grade 12 compulsory English named Naivors, uh, written by Tim Winton. So before entering into the chapter, we have to know is who are Naivors. In fact, Naivors are the people living on adjacent or next to or nearby land. So here, before entering into the chapter, there are some of the questions which given in our textbooks. We have to know them is one by one. Question A, how many languages are spoken in your community? Do people in your community understand each other's mother tongue? So the answer is, there are several languages spoken in my community such as Tharu language, Avadi language, Nepali, Arabi, etc. And people in my community understand each other's mother tongues to some extent, especially in the case of is, sense, essence, or just what they want to convey to each other. Question B. How do neighbors help each other in your neighborhood? The neighbors help each other in my neighborhood in several ways such as helping each other in difficulties or when someone is in obstacles or in need through financially, physically, spiritually and so on. Then about the author, Tim Winton. Tim Winton's full name is Timothy John Winton. And he was an Australian author of both adult and children's novels, which evoke both the experience of his life and the landscapes of his native country, Australia. He has written several novels, children's books, non-fictions books, and short stories. He was such an author who won Mile Franklin Award four times. It is such an award given to the writer of for highest contributions in Australian literature and he was an environmental activist as well. His most famous novels are Writers and Dot Music. At the age of 12, he moved to Albany describing himself as a reluctant migrant and during the 1970s, an increase in migration to Australia was prevalent. His own experiences with diverse an abundant in culture such as Macedonian culture, he uncovers his real insights by appreciating and accepting culturally diversified life in his novel. Whatever the author experienced throughout his life as a migrant person, he depicts those things in his novels. And this neighbors, the story which is presented in our textbooks is taken out from migrants of Australia and the text was edited by Harwood Lauer. It is a story about a newly couple living in a multicultural and multilingual suburb neighborhood. Furthermore, it states that cultural and linguistic barriers cannot stop people bestowing love and compassion. So then about characterization. There are five characters in this story. The first one is the young man. 
and young man is a newly migrated man who stays at home mostly and writes his thesis the name and the title of the thesis is the development of 20th century novel he change in perspective his change is in thought can be observed as the story passes ahead or as the story moves on the second character is the young women and this young women is the wife of the young man she is another character who visits to the hospital she even works in the hospitals and she is incompetent to her husband these two characters leave there after they are departing from the luxurious outer suburbs initially they feel alienated but later they gradually get adjusted with their new accommodations and their neighbors the third character is macedonian family and this family is known for shouting ranting means delivering long angry speeches and screaming karaune is disturbing the young couple but later the same family shows the couple how to slaughter how to pluck and how to dress in the beginning these macedonian families are found disturbing to the newly is migrated couple but later is we find they are very helpful to the young men and young women the fourth character is poland widower he is an old man from poland he lives right of the young couples who spent most of his day hammering nails into wood there is a so kat ma kila ke gareko huncha hammer de gadi reko huncha to pull them out again which are of no use without any reason he was is hammering the nail into the wood and pulling them out hammering the nail and then again pulling them out is just doing the funny things to disturb his neighbors but later the same policeman builds a hen house for the young men and young women the fifth character we find in the story is the little boy and who is urinating in the street it also shows how indifference people were in such migrated land his head was head was saved regularly usko tau ko pani time to time ma ke garincha saved garincha assuming to make his hair grow thick the boy stood at the fence with only his co belt eyes which made the young man nervous he was looking staring at the young man and which makes the young man nervous and afraid as well and this little boy indicates indifference he symbolizes indifference in the story then neighbors summary summary of the story neighbors depicted by s tim winton winton's neighbor is an interesting story explores the process of discovery of a young australian couple's experiences this story is explore the process of discovery of young australian couples experiences how their experiences how their perspective gets changed as the story moves on as they move into a new multicultural neighborhood where a lot of european migrants live the story has been set in a rural background of melbournean suburbs and it covers the four seasons of life activities of the people living there it portrays how people from different countries can live peacefully though they have different lifestyles it forward the concept of multiculturalism first the only experience the strange instances ekdam anothu ghatna haru tini haru face garchan sometimes disgusting customs of their new neighborhood and loud conversation of macedonian family as a result the newly weds feel like sojourners in the foreign land they feel themselves alienated they feel themselves lonely 
in this new land. Their neighbors, a Polish widower, disturbed them by hammering the nail into wood just to pull them out with no any specific use, as we have already discussed in the characterization. So the young couple felt relationship totally uncomfortable many months with their neighbors as they were preoccupied with their own prejudices. Prejudices when you go purba graha, pahile ko concept, predetermined concept as autumn seasons begin. The young couple planted cabbage, leeks, onions, brussels, sprouts and broad beans which advocated neighbors to visit and advise in spacing, healing and mulching. As the autumn seasons arrives, this young couple plan to is plant several vegetables and fruits in their is garden. So as the neighbors knew about this, they visited to the place and they helped the young couples in several ways is in spacing, healing and mulching. They fight to each other, but not all the time. The big women, even a big woman with black eyes and butcher arms, she was very strong. Give her a bag full of garlic cloves to plant. This garlic plants that she provided to plant is in their garden. Next, the young couple built a young hen house. Later, this the young couple built a hen house, but the hen house fell down. Their hen house fell down. The police widower helped them by rebuilding the house without any invitation. Though the young couple could not understand their neighborhood, they started liking their neighborhood. Then the young couple started meeting their neighbors. The whole neighbors started conversing to each other. Gradually, they get adjusted with their neighbors and started conversing and sharing their ideas. Even they shared the fruits and vegetables as well. They become the proud of their neighbors. In this way, the young couple started liking their neighbors and their activities and noticed that every day lives as well as difficult situations so that become happy and satisfied with their surrounding neighbors and their performances in the society. After that is there the story moves towards a turning point when the pregnancy of the young women takes place. The young women become pregnant. Though the couple hadn't planned pregnancy, but the young women becomes pregnant in springs. After a short while, as the neighbors knew about that, they become very aware of it, they become very much happy, everybody offered their help and they were very polite in behaviors. She not only received mild suggestions, as she become pregnant, as the young women become pregnant, she received so many mild suggestions from her neighbors. And even the neighbors offered her huge presents as well. The young as the young father stepped after the birth of his son out of his house, he started to weep. He started sobbing in happiness as he looks a small queue of bleary faces looked up cheering. He found so many neighbors who were standing in front of his house. They were in a happy mood. They were rejoicing. They were making noise. They were very happy, and all the neighbors were excited and with their best. They celebrated it joyfully. The birth was a wonder for the young man. This is the very turning point that takes place in the life of the young man at the end. And he came to know the power of the women. Realized the 20th century novel hadn't prepared him for the birth of the child. He hadn't hoped such a thing in his life in, a, in such a migrated land. In the story, the author used names of the characters do not use the name of the characters and it describes as a result of characters can be regarded as the role models for everyone he, the author doesn't provide any proper noun to the characters he doesn't provide provide proper noun to the characters so as they can be regarded as the role models for everyone the young couple lived in the in expensive outer suburb of australia before they moved 
and therefore they have preoccupied with their prejudices. The story shows that migrants can be seen as social enrichment to Australian society. Even migrants can also do something for the society. And the great sense of community help the couple to understand that intolerance, these are the three things, intolerance, prejudice, and the discrimination, these are the basis of ignorance, these are the basis which creates the conflicts even among the people. It also projects that experience of self-discovery which allows individuals to form the relationship with the people in their neighbors and all over the world. So the moral of the story is that prejudices must not be true, prejudices must not be there. There should not be prejudices in the people. We people as being also neighbors should not judge unknown people just on their appearances or behavior. Because people cannot be judged by their appearances or the behavior shown by them. Then the gist of the story, as we, we have already completed the summary of the story, we have to know what does the story mean to say. There is a very popular proverb by Albert Einstein, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. If one is intelligent, means he can change according to the changes found in the surrounding vibration. Only then he is a complete social being. So this is the thing that the story provokes. And the another proverb is written by Paolo Colo. We can never judge the lives of others because each person knows only their own pain and renunciations. It's one thing to feel that you are the on the right path, but it is another to think that you yours is only path. Here, one cannot judge other people because people only understand their own pains and sufferings. They do not understand the other's pain and sufferings. So, other's pain suffering perspective should be understood is before defining him or her. This is very popular proverb as well as this. We have we have heard this. Is everyone knows about it? Don't judge a book by its cover, as you don't know what they have been through. By looking the book's cover, we cannot say that this book is good or this book is bad. To know about the gist of the books, to know about the arts, to judge that book, we have to go through pages by pages, yes, words by words, sentences by sentences. Then only we can know about the exact yes, sense or exact about the books. I think people should give other people a chance to read the books before they judge it by its covers. So glossary, yes, there are some yes, terms which are mentioned in our textbooks, Macedonian, people from Macedonia, Southeastern Europe, Modern Bay, a bay located on the eastern coast of Australia, malting, miss malting, hair growing, graffa, a kind of alcoholic beverage, fragrant grapes based on Italian brandy, eccentric, unconventional and strange, Muscovy, a kind of large dog of South American origin. Claustrophobics, afraid of living in a confined places. Liver roast, meat sausage, also known as liver sausage. Crone, hum, or sing in a low voice, murmuring. Warnix, a greasy deposit covering the skins of a baby at birth. So then we see the understanding of the text. The questions given, given in our textbooks. Answer the following question. The very first question that we find in our textbooks is describe how the young couple's house looked like. Young couple ko ghar kosto dekhintyo. The young couple's house looked like a small cottage with high ceilings and panned windows, which provided them the feeling of an elegant cottage. Question B. How did the young couple identify their neighbors in the beginning of their arrival? Suruma, Kasari young couple apnu neighbors are lai found son, Kasari identify garsan. The young couple identified their neighbors as the very arcusius, which made them feel like the sojourners in a foreign land in 
the beginning of their arrivals. They feel themselves isolated, alienated, is strange at the beginning when they is arrived to the newly migrated land. Question number C. How did the neighbors help the young couple in the kitchen garden? Neighbors lay young couple like kitchen garden makasari sahyogare. This neighbors help the young couple in the kitchen garden by advising them in spacing, healing, mulching, and in planting the vegetable and fruits. Even the big women with black eyes and butcher's arm give her back full of garlic, cloves to plant. Question D. Why were the people in the neighborhood surprised at the role of the young man and his wife in their family? The people in the neighborhood surprised to know that the young couple had made pregnancy so early as their friends didn't have children until several years of after being married. So these neighbors were surprised. Question E. How did the neighbor respond to the women's pregnancy? The neighbors responded to the women's pregnancy positively. They take it yes, happily. They were very happy to know about this. They offered her presents and mild suggestions as well. Question number F. Why did the young man begin to weep at the end of the story? The young man begins to weep at the end of the story as he looked at a small queue of blurry faces looked up cheering of his neighbors and they are rejoicing at the birth of his baby. He finds his neighbors were very happy. They considered the birth of his child as their own child. Therefore, the young man began to weep or began to cry. Question G. Why do you think the author didn't characterize the person in the story with the proper names? We have already discussed in the summary. The author didn't characterize the person in the story with the proper name to protege the characters as the role models to present the characters as the role models for everyone reference to the context the story shows that linguistics and cultural these two things linguistic and cultural barriers do not create any obstacles in human relationship cite some examples from the story where the neighbors have transcended such barriers in fact human relationship uh, create garna ma linguistic the cultural barriers le kunai pani obstacle create garna sakdaina isko lagi try to find out some of the examples from the textbooks and present to them the story neighbors shows that linguistics and cultural barriers do not create any obstacles in human relationship. Generally, Sadantaya, Kimunsa, cultural differences cause behaviors and personality differences like body languages, thinking, communication, manners, norms, etc., which leads to miscommunication and misunderstanding among the people. These things, these are the major things. Yes? which created misunderstanding and miscommunication among the people. Among them, the beliefs is another one. It also created the, it is also one of the barrier, cultural barrier. But as the young couple moved into a new multicultural neighborhood, they gradually got familiar with the cultural, cultures and circumstances of their new neighbors. We find several examples where the neighbors have transcended such barriers. Some of them are given below. The first one, during autumns, as the neighbors see the young couple planting vegetables and fruits in their kitchen garden, they advise in spacing, healing and mulching. Even the big women with black eyes and butcher's arms gave her a bag full of garlic and cloves to plant. In this way, the neighbors helped even the young couples the police widower revealed the hen house for them without any invitation, which was is damaged itself. They offered heads of cabbage and took gift of grappa and firewood. They exchanged their vegetables and fruits. In the spring, the Macedonian family showed them how to slaughter, uh, how to pluck, and how to dress. They tossed to these young couples. 
The whole neighborhood celebrated the birth of the baby and offered the presents and mild suggestions to the young women as their own. So these are the instances that you find in the story where linguistics and cultural barriers can do nothing in creating its human relationships. Question number B. The last sentence of the story reads, The 20th century novel hadn't prepared him for this. In your view, what differences did the young man find between the 20th century novel and human relations? Here, we have to know is that this 20th century uh, novel is one side, another side is human relations. And what differences the writer finds? The last sentence of the story, Nibors, uh, reads the 20th century novels hadn't prepared him for this. By this, we mean that the young man hadn't expected such types of cooperation and helpful behaviors from the neighbors. As they enter into the new migrated land, they haven't thought that this, even the migrants will help them in a such a way. But yes, as they found yes, them helpful in planting vegetables and fruits, even during his wife's pregnancy, they were very much happy. The young couple lived in an expensive outer suburb of Australia before they moved where people do not talk to anyone and they were very busy in their own private talks. And these were the things found in the 20th century Nepal. The same thing I had found in the 20th century Nepal. But as he visited to this migrated land, he find completely opposite situations with people helping to each other in several aspects. The young man learns a new lesson that, uh, there, that the migrants can be seen as social enrichment to Australian society. Migrants are very helpful people. Their great sense of community help made the couple understand intolerance, prejudice and discrimination. These are the basis of ignorance. These are to be removed from the society. And thus the young man finds 20th century noble has many more prejudices, discrimination and intolerance. But these things are absent in this is modern migrated land. And he finds the remedy of all these things through human relations in his new migrated Australian land. Question number C. A Nepali proverb says, Naibors are the companions for wedding processions as well as for funeral processions. Does this proof apply in this story? Justify. Obviously, this is a very famous, famous problem. Proverbs. Naibors are companion. Wedding procession, vehicle procession, and the funeral. The funeral is the funeral. And this very famous proverb is, is applicable to this is story. Obviously, thus we can say, while writing the answer, we can say that, yes, the Nepali proverb, neighbors are the companions for wedding processions as well as funeral processions, is applicable to this story. This means neighbors are the true family members. Even family members cannot help during such problems, but if the neighbors are good, they can they are ready to help thus they are the true family members who help each other in case of difficulties as well as celebrate each other's cultural and family functions they even celebrate cultural and family functions as well whether it is the wedding ceremony or the funeral ones so this is probably completely applicable to the story neighbors are as human as we are with all their strengths and weakness we know very well that as human beings are the social beings, all have strengths and weakness, so as the neighbors have. When we share a small happy moments with others, particularly neighbors, it is a great fact of life. It becomes much more beautiful. There are small things, but they can often give us big solace in terms of good advice or console us when there is calamity in the terms of death and houses. So during the S, great obstacles, even neighbors can help in different ways. For instance, the young man feels alone during the delivery of his wife. 
but his neighbors manage everything for him and his wife celebrate the birth of his baby as the true companions did neighbors celebrate the birth of his and his wife's baby as true companions furthermore they advised him in planting vegetables and fruits in dressing in slaughtering thus neighbors are often capable of bringing happiness all around and they are the companions for both wedding processions as well as funeral processions so this is proverb is applicable to this story Question number D. The author has dealt with an issue of multiculturalism in the story. Why do you think multiculturalism has become a major issue in the present world? The answer is yes. Yes, I think multiculturalism is a significant issue for the present world because it reflects the changing view on cultural cultures in general. The, this phenomenon is typical of uh, those countries where there is coexistence of different culture which didn't follow the path of assimilation and preserved rather continue to cultivate their own identity and uniqueness there is as different types of cultures different types of rituals can be found and they are celebrating it together so multiculturalism is both a response response to the fact cultural pluralism in one sense it is a cultural pluralism in modern democracy and another compensating cultural groups of past exclusion those cultures who have been excluded assimilate them they like ferry ke garne forward garne moreover the examples can be as instances can be noticed from the even britains as well many different cultures were able to create their own special culture rural spaces in contemporary britain even or ko instance next instance is the second half of the 20th century this is second half of the 20th century the united kingdom pursued a policy of integration of migrants from the former colonies another on the other hand america is an immigrant country in the sense most of the people living in america are immigrants there is a so ki un saman seru america mein immigrants basi rahega san as they have come from different countries and different ethnic groups they belonging to different languages and educational background customs values and religions the case is same in australia about which we people are studying is this chapter in this chapter the neighbors the concept of multiculturalism is a controversial issue in america some people take it negatively others like it take it positively in my perspective multiculturalism is positive to wrap up multiculturalism is diversity of two or more than two cultures in some regions or country several types of cultures people are living together especially due to the development of internet and wireless communications technology the distance from country to country people to people have become very short or have become very close the whole world has become a global village thus multiculturalism is good for the society and people we need to enhance and develop the concept of multiculturalism in our lives society nation and in the world the last one reference beyond the text these are the questions we have to write uh, outside from the text write an essay on children celebration of child birth in my community that means celebration of child birth in nepalese community you can say that so here we have to write an essay and the essay is given here pregnancy and child birth are socio cultural events that carry varying meaning across the different society and culture socio cultural practices may prevalent prevent is yes, socio cultural practices may prevent women from ascending post natal care nepali society here we have to know is that nepali society is full of customs rituals and superstitions all the rights are followed by the pregnant women and this provides her with a sense of security the women pregnant women in nepali society have a sense of security as they live with their parents uh, and is 
freedom from the psychic burden of managing childbirth. They are encouraged by the family members. Pregnant women is taken care by all the members and all her desires for food is fulfilled. Due to the societal expectation of women as the bearers of children, society considers women should bear the children, give birth to the children and carriers of the family. Practice of giving birth traditionally, they try to give birth um, to the child traditionally, vaginally, was safe and even empowering the women. If done in good, if the yes, women give birth to the baby at good, that empowers and women. As for the hospital and health centers, women will only go in an absolute emergency, in the case of emergency, in difficult situations. Nepalese women largely believe the whole birth process is a part of life and God's plan. It's not the plan of the human beings. As such, labor begins when the God deems it so. The common saying, Nepalese saying, Jun bela bela, uhi bela chela, means that Childbirth will occur on its own time, hence the no attendance is needed. In our society, a women after marriage doesn't become a member of the new family until she gives birth to a baby. And after the birth of the baby, she is called by the baby's mother's name or the firstborn child's name. Children are born not at the choice of the parents but by the pressure of the family. Children's child bear, child bearing and rearing is far easier in traditional society. The whole family helps her to rear the child, the grandparents, uncle, aunties, other family members feel equal responsibility to look after the children. And in the children in our society play na with natural object. Thus, in our society is yes, the celebration of child birth is found is yes, after the birth of the baby the celebration is conducted by the family members where so many members are is called and then they even is play the sounds and the singing dancing takes place as well as the last question of the story is is do the people in your community respond with the Similar reactions upon the pregnancy and childbirth as depicted in the story. Ki hamro community ma manchhar the same reaction garson jab aur tinyar the tha paunsan pregnancy ra childbirth ko baare ma. Give a couple of examples. No, it's not found in our community. Yes, in our community people do not respond politely and sincerely upon the pregnancy and childbirth as depicted in the story Naiborgul. In the story, all the Naibors become so elated as they knew the young man's wife has become pregnant, though the couple hasn't planned for. The young woman becomes pregnant in the spring and after a short while, their Naibors offer their help and they are very polite. They provide mild suggestions as well as some huge presents for them. All the neighbors get excited and wish their best. They celebrate it joyfully. But in our society, people do not have time to think about others. Activities and cultural practices are rituals. People are busy in their own tasks. All the people are busy. They go away from the yes, houses early in the morning, return back in the evening. They don't have time even to look after their own children. Indifference is complete opposite of social commitment which is found in my community. For instance, people become indifferent to others because the feeling of responsibility and respect towards humanity doesn't mean anything to them anymore. Humanity has been collapsed sometimes. They only visit and celebrate their neighbors, cultural practices and support them when they are very close to them. Most of the people are self-centered, selfish, who do not care for others and they do not assimilate with other neighbors who are in trouble or inconveniences. So these are the questions and even the ideas from the story neighbors. If you face any problem regarding this chapter you can mention below in the comment box so thank you everybody have a good day goodbye